What we want to measure in our experiment is how the structure of a molecule changes when we add its charge state. So that is when we add or remove an electron. And this is very important in many organisms. For example, the charge states of chlorophyll and hemoglobin, which are important for the charge and energy transfer in our body and in plants. And what we do here is we resolve on the atomic scale the structural changes of a molecule when we remove or add a single elementary charge, that is one electron. This is the instrument that we used. It's a ultra-high vacuum, low temperature atomic force microscope. This is the cantilever that we have in our system, which is a Q plus sensor. With that, we functionalize the, the tip of our, of our sensor with a CO molecule. And this allows us to uh, attain two capabilities of AFM. One, which is the atomic resolution, and the other, which is the, um, the fact that we can attach or remove electrons from a molecule at will. And by coupling these two capabilities, we can see how the structure of a molecule changes upon changing uh, its uh, charge state. Here you have porphine, the parent compound of uh, hemoglobin and chlorophyll. And here you see it in three different charge states. The neutral, with one attached electron, and with two attached electrons. With our work and our new technique, we um, gain a fundamental understanding on the atomic scale of how single electrons change the structure of molecules. And this is important on the one hand in living organisms, as we explained, and on the other hand for new applications of molecules in molecular devices and organic photovoltaic cells, for example.